boss in the family from losing a parent? Wait, from losing a parent? What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back for another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. Today we're getting to work, baby. We're finally going to go to work with Amethyst as a doctor. I'm really excited. We also might have our boyfriend move in. I don't know. I just like him. I just like him. I think he needs to move in with us. Without further ado, let's just dive in. I have nothing more to say. Woohoo! Okay, so work starts in less than an hour. I'm so excited. She needs to go to the bathroom. Go use it, queen. We just want all of you ready to go for work today. Oh, look at her. She wants to hug someone because she's so happy. Get a promotion. We will actually do that. Take in your nice little shower. Hopefully we have enough time for... Can we grab like a leftover really fast? Yeah. Meshka. Ugh. I do not know what she was mad about. I love her outfit for today. Oh my gosh. Our girl is so grown up. I love that this is what she wears on her off hours. Oh wait, but this was also when I said that we would do the makeover when she got the job. She might like chop all her hair off. So I think we might do that after today. She didn't get to eat it. We should have put it in her inventory so she could eat at work, but it's fine. We're going to join her. First day at work. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be like Grey's Anatomy. Except for we won't need to drink Dreamy because we have ours at home. I love that she immediately wants to go work out. No girl. Wait, but there's someone else at work that has colored hair too. That is also long. Rochio? Rokio? Gato. I don't know what pronunciation I need to use for that, if it's like Italian or not, but we got a nurse here. Awesome. Holly Aikida is our ghost receptionist. Hate that, but that's fine. And then we've got Carla Holland is a doctor. And we got some patients. Okay, amazing, amazing. All right, so it's the usual. This is where we've had all the children and everything. Okay, swab a patient for a sample. Examine patient. I can't swab? Oh, she's already been diagnosed. Okay, what about this patient? Also already been diagnosed. Deliver food. We're gonna deliver food to our patient. First thing at work is done. Okay, now we have to practice our bioanalysis. So let's go do that. She's talking a little bit to her patient. No more talking to your patient, okay? You gotta go practice your bioanalysis. Oh, Genevieve is like, congratulations on Theo and you dating. Thanks, Genevieve. Here's a new patient. Okay, we gotta swab. We gotta swab the patient. Swab for sample. And then also take their temperature. Wait, is this mom? Casey, mom came in. She She's like, I'll be your first patient. This is the cutest thing. Go do it before someone else takes your mom as a patient. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's coming in and Casey's like, I'm not feeling well, but I'm your first patient. Hi, mom. <laughs> Successfully perform a practice examination on a patient. The test results seem valid, but the specific data is a bit over her head and will be passed along to a physician for diagnosis. A viable tissue sample is successfully collected from Casey Berry. Now Amethyst can test it with the chemical analyzer machine to get some data data to help with her diagnosis. Okay, awesome. Let's check her eyes. Oh no, Casey actually looks pretty rough. Amethyst has successfully performed a practice examination on a patient. Crushing this work day already. She does not know what she's doing, Amethyst. Get a patient in the x-ray machine. Let's like give mom a hug, even though it might not be, oh, not romance. Oh my God, that's your mom. Deep personal conversation. Oh, okay, let's have a deep personal conversation with mom. Kind of catch up, tell mom maybe that we have a boyfriend. And then we will x-ray scan ask refer for an x-ray skin. There we go. Checking in. She's like, how have you been? What's new in your life? We've missed you for Harvest Fest. Now she's taking mom. Oh, poor mom's not feeling well. The okay, with this looks so proud of herself, just running around town in her little scrubs, helping out. So cute. All right, mom, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll take good care of you. Mom's like, I am so itchy. This is fun. I like that we're seeing Sims that we know at the doctor's office. This is so Grey's Anatomy too. Like your parent comes in, you're like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with them? I must save them. And then they're like, no, you can't work on your parent. That's like against the rules. And you're like, absolutely not. I'm gonna make sure my parent is okay. That's totally an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Embarrassingly, Amethyst cannot make any sense of the results. That sounds about right. Why don't you transfer your mom's case 
to someone else. I bet mom was like, all right, well, don't make it this expensive, you know? Carla Holland will transfer our case too. And then we will research our health reports online. Great. And then, oh, check a patient's ears. Well, we don't have a new patient. There's several over here though that we could probably add to a bed. Analyze the patient sample. Ooh, we would love to analyze mom's sample. So cute. Look at her tapping on the computer. <laughs> She's having such a fun time on her first day. She's super focused too. Good for you. Look at her doing her little science. It reminds me of Min. Skylar's calling. Mom, we're in the middle of work. I'll answer the phone. Maybe she's calling to check in on how Casey's doing. Oh, that looks like she didn't get a diagnosis at all. Yeah, she's confused. Poor Amethyst feels like out of her league in terms of working here. It's not coming to her quite as easily as everything else has in the past, but she's feeling on the up and up. You know, I don't think she's too worried about it. Work emergency, paging Amethyst Berry. The pharmaceutical lab is overtasked and has sent a batch of confidential tissue samples that require urgent analysis. Please collect the samples from a reception desk for immediate evaluation and data recording. Ooh, I've never seen that before. That's really cool. Okay, get samples for analysis. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Paging Dr. Barry, Dr. Barry, hello. She's like talking to mom. She's like, mom, listen, okay, I've got a urgent thing I need to take care of at work but everything's good. I love you. Bye. Now she's going to go get those urgent samples that we must take care of. Look at all these poor Sims. With the confidential tissue samples obtained, Amethyst now needs to test them at the chemical analyzer and document her findings to better prepare against a future outbreak. Oh my, oh no. All right, yeah, let's do these confidential samples. I don't know why you would give it to Amethyst when she just started today, but she is on the case. Maybe she flubbed a little bit on her application to this job. She kind of lied a little bit about her work experience. So they think she, she knows more than she does. It's okay. She picks up quick. She's a quick learner. Record emergency analysis data. That's fun. Is that new in this? I do not remember this before. She's putting her stuff in here. Little green guy in there. <laughs> Find out what she uncovers. She's dancing. She's so cute. What's she learning while she's doing this? Logic. Ooh, okay. Good for you, girl. All right, now that she's done that, enter the results. Okay, we got to enter the results of the computer. Record emergency analysis data. All right, let's go, Amethyst. Amethyst to the rescue. She's thinking about babies. That is random. She's probably thinking about Theo being like, oh, he would have the most amazing baby. Oh, she's also thinking about mom. That's nice. Thinking about a family member who's in here. Not looking good, to be honest. Yes. Okay. We just have to do like one more thing and we'll have like maxed out today. So let's clean up this puddle and then we can go get some food. I know you're hungry. You can eat right after, I promise. Mop up your puddle. She's got to do some grunt work before she gets leveled up. Hopefully we'll go up a little bit, but we do need three patients to treat and we can't even treat a single patient yet. Yes, we did it. Okay, we finished. Deliver medication to patient. We might instead, she's gonna go just get her, grab a little sandwich. That way it's nice and easy after her long day. She's having her sandwich in the break room. She's super focused. Okay, excellent. Well, if you're focused, why don't you admit some patients to a bed? There you go. Go put a patient in the bed for your, oh, Amethyst did a fantastic job today. Promotions and community health are surely in the future. We earned 364 simoleons. So we're at the bottom of the barrel here, but hopefully we'll rise up in the ranks very soon. That was so much fun though. I liked going to work with her. It's okay. Oh, but we have our bills to pay. Okay, let's pay our bills. Luckily we just made some money and I think our roommates gave us money last episode. Is that our landlord? What a choice of eyewear. As you usual, Catberry is enjoying the little scratcher. I love that for Catberry. Oh, and we're still super focused, so we're going to go play chess. I think that makes sense. She's working on her skill, hopefully to max it out. Good job, Amethyst. Work on that skill, sweetie. Who else is here? Anyone else in the house right now? No, it just looks like Catberry is here. It's like our roommates are all out. Don't know where they're at. Oh, Mai is calling. I found a ring in Blank's bag. I think it's going to propose to me. Who I jump your boyfriend? 
friends is gonna propose to you. I don't know what to do. Should I say yes, no? Um, yeah. Oh, geez. Uh, yes, do it. Go get engaged. You're right. Of course, what I was thinking. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I'm gonna say yes. Who are you engaged to? I wish I could see. All right, well, our roommate's engaged, so that's exciting. We're hanging out with Cat Berry in the room. <laughs> I like Cat Berry's little wiggles. And it's purple because we're focused, so everything is purple at this shop. I guess we just need to be more skill building. We could work on charisma, maybe? Check yourself out. Oh my gosh. Why don't you practice a little siege and maybe invite over your boyfriend? Apparently, we cannot invite over our boyfriend. Where is he? Oh, he's like literally outside. Why don't you come on up? Oh, invite him to stay the night and give him like a key to the apartment. Perfect. All right, we're running out to him. We're gonna tell him all about our day. Oh God, oh, it's glitched. Oh, okay, she kissed him from far away. What is she gonna do now? Give him an apartment key, yay. Be like, please come over whatever you want. Goodbye, no, 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 don't say goodbye. Ask him to hang out and invite him to stay the night. Aw, perfect. He's gonna sleep over, that's so sweet. Okay, why don't you two come over here so that you guys can sit and chat in the house. There we go. Whisper some sweet nothings to him. She is a little hungry, so maybe we'll eat our turkey dinner and use the bathroom. Where is our boyfriend? He just like went away. He ran upstairs without us. He's fell asleep in our bed. He's so tired from work. And we're eating on the toilet? I hate that idea. Okay. All right, we're gonna give some food to Cat. Cat's begging, which is not a good idea, but we're gonna give Cat some food anyway because we love Cat a lot. And Cat is like a little raccoon, so of course Cat is begging for food, you know? Let's play a lot of with Sterling and Ash. And maybe Cordell too, so that way we can get our gaming skill up as well. There she's feeling energized. She lost a game against her brothers. Why don't you practice your guitar a little bit? She's feeling so very energized, which I love. Wait, is that our roommate? Who is that that just went upstairs? Oh, it's Theo. Okay, Theo's awake. Wait, someone is here. Oh my gosh, it's Genevieve. She's crying. What just happened? Genevieve? Okay, we're gonna go up and give Theo a little kiss and then we're gonna check on Genevieve and ask her what's wrong. Let's go brighten her day. Oh, we're feeling super flirty. Okay, we're gonna check on our friend, ask her how she is. Oh, it's a death in her family. Oh, she's shaking care of her. We're gonna give her a hug. And they got closer. Oh, oh my gosh. They could woohoo together. She's feeling very flirty and Theo's here. So they're gonna woohoo. I don't know if I have risky woohoo set for the like the non try for baby option. If she gets pregnant, she gets pregnant. So, you know, she's a little tired. It's the end of the night. He spent the night. It makes sense. So they're gonna have their first woohoo. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Well, now we're asleep and Theo is doing some push-ups and oh, poor Genevieve is still crying in her bed. That makes me so sad. Poor Genevieve. He's introducing himself to her. He's like, hey, I'm the boyfriend, Theo. Nice to meet you officially. Oh my gosh, to be a fly on this wall. My boyfriend and my best friend talking. That's nice. I like this. They're having like a nice combo. My boyfriend and my best friend could become best friends just like the TV show Friends. Oh my gosh, look, Catberry's trying to get into the trash can. Classic Catberry. Oh, here comes Genevieve. She's coming down. Hopefully she will clean up. Nope, looks like she's grabbing some food. Oh, why is he sleeping at the foot of the bed? Theo! She woke up. She's feeling really sad about, oh, loss in the family from losing a parent. Wait, from losing a parent? <gasps> Cannon died. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my God, I can't believe Cannon died. Oh no. Oh my God. We're gonna have to go home after work today and see family. You're gonna have to give yourself a little pep talk today. That is super sad. I didn't realize Cannon was getting on in age so much. I'm glad that at least we've patched up our relationship a little bit. We're going to join her to, at work today. Sad work day. We're in, we're here, we're ready to go. There's some patience. Who's this? Cecilia, you seem like the perfect patient to be my go-to first today. So we are going to check in with Cecilia first. Oh, I still need to give her her makeover. We'll do it after work today. And we're gonna swab her for a sample. Ooh, she does not look like she's doing well. We're gonna go give her a x-ray. Her heart's not in it today, unfortunately. Oh, she's so sad. She had to step out to cry, then she stepped back in with the patient. Very professional of you. Amethyst, but also very heartbreaking. I can't believe Cannon's gone. He was such a big part of the, her 
alive for so long. So we've got to transfer the case. Ugh. All right, we're gonna transfer it to Rocio Kato this time around. And then we are going to analyze the patient sample. It's Winterfest tomorrow and GeekCon is in town. Well, we'll not be going to GeekCon, but we will probably celebrate Winterfest at home with the family. So now we have to practice bioanalysis. Analysis in Kafit. She was confused by the questionable data results. Oh my gosh, when does she improve? All right, let's put another patient to an exam bed. Oh, she's not having a very good day today today, unfortunately. Let's check her ears. Let's swab her for a sample. And then, oh, take her temperature, take her temperature. We're getting there with our work day to day. We're not killing it quite as much as we did the first day, but she's still doing a pretty good job. Why don't you transfer the patient case as well to Carla? I can't wait to not have to transfer it. She's so sad today. Do a little tech time. Excellent. Okay, we are almost done. She keeps being confused. I wonder when that improves. All right, let's add this patient to an exam bed and we'll have to check our little patient's Allie Sheldon's eyes. Here we go. All right, we're gonna check your eyes, darling. Oh, wow. Allie looks like she's pretty dizzy. We did it! We got our gold star on that one, but still haven't been able to treat a patient ourselves. So kind of a bummer, but it's fine. Can we calibrate that yet? No, apparently we can't calibrate these. I don't know why. So I guess she's just gonna go give herself another little pep talk in the mirror, trying to cheer herself up after a hard day losing her dad. She's like, it's okay. You just have to finish out this work day and then you can go see mom. She's gonna go do like a little workout, kind of ease her nerves, but she's hopefully gonna cheer herself up a little bit this way. Yeah, now she's feeling focused instead. Oh, she did a fantastic job again. Yes, two for two, baby. We just need to treat some patients so we can get a promotion, but it's fine. No need to rush through it. It is our first video where she's at her new job. I just wanted her to be promoted. I think she's doing such a good job. Okay, let's take a shower, head over to mom's and grab some food. Ooh, I like the outfit. Feeling really tough today. Oh, but wait, maybe this is when she cuts her hair. Okay, we're gonna grab our food and then we're gonna chop all our hair off and maybe change our outfit. We're like, it's time to grow up. You know, dad died. And I think it's time to just grow up and be mature. So she's gonna grow up and chop off all her hair and maybe change up some of her looks. Kind of be like, no, I, I shouldn't be wearing this kind of stuff. Even though it makes her happy. I think she just will feel like a little bit of extra pressure to be serious at work. Show that she really wants it. Especially because she's feeling insecure at work because she hasn't been doing as well as she thought she would. So let's start with her hair. Oh my gosh, we're gonna chop it all off. I am both very nervous and very excited. I think that one's really good. Oh wait, this one. This one's even more like, I'm a professional. I'm a serious girl now. I don't know whether or not we should just remove the nose ring. Ooh, I kind of think we should. I think we should go way hard into like being super serious, which honestly makes me a little sad because I really like her style, but we'll go, we'll get back to it when she goes back into her career. Oh my gosh, Amethyst looks so different. Oh my gosh, I kind of miss her whole look. That's her party look. Oh my gosh, she's so different. Amethyst just changed. She's a little different now. Aww, a little makeover post dad and during her medical process. I'm sorry for her. That makes me sad. I don't know where her roommates are. They're like not her roommates anymore. I haven't seen them in like two days now. Are they still her roommates? Let's invite them. Oh wait, she was gonna go home. All right, let's go Let's go home instead. We're gonna have to travel to see the family. And then maybe we should invite over Cannon's kids and Caitlin. Offer gratitude to Casey. Be like, thanks for having me. And let's invite to hang out Cordell, Riley and Kala, Caitlin Edo. We're gonna invite all of them to come hang out and then we're gonna knock on the door. There we go, everyone's here. Oh my gosh. Okay, Kala is angry about something. She's going through some teenage anger things. Ask about her day. Actually, she doesn't seem too bad, so that's good. I'm glad Caitlin's holding up okay. We're gonna go go inside with everybody, check on mom. I'm sure she's absolutely devastated. How are you doing, mom? Oh, this is our room. I miss all our stuff. I wish we could just like take stuff out of a house while we're there. Like that would be so fun. We'll come back for it eventually. She's a little bit scatterbrained. So apparently mom is not too bad. We're gonna give her our secret 
handshake. We'll check in on Sterling. Sterling's here. Where's Ash? There's Ash. Okay. Check on Ash too. Make sure everybody's feeling good. It seems like everyone's pretty good actually. She's doing a nice little handshake with Sterling. That's some good brother sister stuff right there. I wonder when they're gonna become teens. It seems like everybody's taking it actually pretty well. I'm kind of confused and a little bit sad that nobody is sad. Maybe Skylar and Tim weren't as close, you know, when they got older and it might've been his time, but it still feels like very odd. Kala's jumping on the treadmill, starting young with the workouts. All right, this is bugging me. I think we're just gonna repair it as a favor to our mom. Maybe our mom is holding herself together very well, but the house is kind of falling apart a little bit because both of her moms are a little upset. So we're gonna try to be useful and help repair some things while we're here. And actually, while we are here, we can finally take photos of the characters. We'll take a photo with Skylar and we'll just have the heirs take photos, I guess, together today. So let's go take a photo with mom, even though she's not really looking herself. She's got the short hair right now, but it's okay. Wow, oh my gosh. Sims really said copy paste with these two, I think. It looks like mom's been sweating. She's probably been working out a lot. Take a photo with Casey as well. Oh, that's sweet. I like this. Also, it looks like everyone's gone. Could we play like a game together? Okay, it looks like it's just cousins right here playing some basketball. But of course, Amethyst is good at it because she's always good at everything very quickly. Also, her mom was a basketball player. So it does make sense that she is really, really good at this game. While Kala is just struggling. She's having a lot of conflicted feelings. She keeps kind of passing between happy and sad, which makes sense, you know? Maybe send a little happy text to your boyfriend. And then I think you should go home. I think we've been here long enough. We've checked on everybody. It seems like they're actually all fine, which is surprising, but okay. We are tired and we are sad, so we might as well sleep it off. Oh yeah, she cried a little bit. And I have not seen our roommates again. So my gut instinct is telling me the game glitched somehow and our roommates are no longer our roommates, which does make me sad. I do miss having them around. Winterfest is happening today. Okay, go get some food. I don't want the fruit cake or whatever it is. Is that the only thing left in our fridge? We'll just cook something. We'll have like a nice little breakfast, all right? We'll just have some eggs and toast. That's pretty much what I have for breakfast every day too. It would be fun if the family went on vacation for Christmas, like a snowboarding vacation. That actually would be really fun. Maybe we'll do that for like New Year's or something. We'll take the friends and go on a vacay. Cause that reminds me of the TV show Friends and they all go skiing. Amethyst is off to work. Mai just called. I have a crush on Kareem Lai. Do you think it's worth a try? You should go for it, but I thought you were engaged to someone. I have no idea what is going on with our roommate right now. Oh, Amethyst is a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. Uh, ask for help. She gained a little bit of a performance. Oh my gosh, we look, we're excellent. We just need to treat three patients and we can get our promotion. This is so frustrating. <laughs> All right, Amethyst brought home money, not as much as usual, but okay. Actually, we did just see our family yesterday, so maybe we will actually just host for our friends. So let's invite Theo over. We can invite over Mai and Genevieve. I think that might be just fun if it's just this them. She just saw our family yesterday. I think it'll be nice to do like a winter fest, just, just us. We don't have a tree. If we put this in our inventory for now, we'll put the tree right here. There you go. Let's put some presents under the tree and light it. She's gonna get everything sorted. Oh, Theo, give him a winter fest gift of, she doesn't really have much to give him. All right, let's just invite him in. Okay, wait, I wanna hover over her. It doesn't say roommate anymore. It did glitch and they moved out. There aren't enough available beds for a new roommate. That is so odd. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like we don't have our roommates anymore. All right, anyway, let's decorate with ornaments. Is there any purple ones? There are not. And we have like Gryffindor colors at the bottom, which is kind of gross. Blue and white modern. We'll put it on together with the whole gang. And then maybe we'll all cook together. It'll be great. We'll have a nice little holiday moment. We're gonna fill a bowl and then we're gonna cook a grand meal of fish dinner. Cause that's what my family often has during Christmas is fish. Oh, he's doing a cute little Santa thing. She's chatting with all of her friends. Feeling good. She's gonna make the dinner with everybody. Wait, look, we got some work things. That's kind of cool. We got some like landlord whisperer. 
Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell a couple of these things that we don't need. And then down here, I'm gonna put this into the corner over here, maybe. There we go. Now we can have some holiday tunes on. Why is everyone standing outside? They're all talking with my aunt and my cousin. They're talking with them while I cook. Can we not have them join the cooking, please? It'd be helpful if more people help me cook this. It's a big meal. All right, everyone is here together, including Cat Berry. We're all doing our holiday feast together and we reached cookie level nine. All right, call everybody to the grand meal. Merry Christmas, come eat. Everyone's having their nice holiday feasts together. Yay! This is just like the TV show Friends when they all have Christmas together. She did it! She had the grand meal. Everyone's gonna light the tree together. And then, can we like, oh, I've heard what a great person you are. Do you wanna make a donation to charity? Sure, it is on Christmas, so. Open presents with everybody. Oh, he's being all sweet on Amethyst on Christmas. Wouldn't it be funny if since it's Christmas, he like impulsively proposed to her? I feel like that's a common thing that people do on Christmas. Just saying, it's a thing that people do. Oh my gosh, Santa's here! Give him a Winterfest gift of an emotion potion. Be like, I made it as a child and I have been giving them as gifts my whole life and it's always been weird. It seems like he actually kind of liked it. I'm just like wondering if we can like have him propose to her. Oh yeah, propose! Oh my gosh, I can't have him propose to her in front of all their friends. Oh my gosh, here he goes. Oh no, he's proposing! And she's saying yes, she's like, yeah, let's do this. Oh my gosh, they're engaged. Oh, look at these two engaged on Winterfest. A classic move with all their friends there. They got engaged. That is just like the episode of Friends where they get engaged and all their friends are there. Oh, we got a caboose train set. Maybe we'll save that for our child. But it looks like we pretty much did all of the Winterfest things. So looks like it'll be a Winterfest for the books. She's gonna go dance a little bit. Oh, and she's feeling very flirty. Oh my. Elope immediately with Theo. No. Invite Theo to dance. They're partying with Santa. It is adorable. I want them to slow dance together. I want them to have room. Do they not have room? Maybe they'd have more room if, the, if this tree was gone. All right, let me move this to here and see if they can slow dance now. Yes, it's happening. Okay. Oh, now they're gonna slow dance together. Oh, they're so sweet. I love it, they're engaged. We should ask him to move it. Oh, kiss while dancing? Are you kidding me? I don't think I've seen that. And they didn't do it. All right, make a joke about marriage. Be like, ha ha ha. Enthuse about the upcoming wedding. Be like, I can't believe we're gonna get married. And then she's going to ask him to join the household. You wanna move in? And he does want to move in. Oh, oh, I feel bad because we've never met Joey Rigatoni, which is his roommate. He's going to move in. Should he bring like half of the money? I feel like that makes sense. Wow. Okay. He bring in money with him. I guess now we don't need the roommates. Okay. They should take a photo together with her nice digital camera. Also, it's technically skill building if she takes photos with them. Oh, look at these two. Okay. Let's zoom out. Let's make it like a nice big photo of these two lovebirds. And now I feel like I should put like the photo sub somewhere. Oh, that one's good. We'll add a frame. I like the light wood one. We'll do that. We'll do these two. Maybe put them here. And then this other one with mom, maybe we'll put, oh, that's sweet to put it on the table here. Yay, we're adding some photos around. I'll put the one of her when they like went out for the first time as teens over here. Excellent. Aw, Amethyst, so fun. Oh, she got to call her moms. Call Skylar. Oh my gosh, is Skylar an elder now? Oh my gosh. Go chat with Skylar and then chat with Casey. Both of them are gonna be like, I'm sleeping, girl. Don't call me right now. She's like, okay, whatever. I'm engaged. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this one here. Amethyst is now engaged. And I am so excited for the next chapter of her life. He's all moved into the house too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.